We're here at Thompson Nature Park! It was recently opened to the public just a few weeks ago. So we're going to explore it and find the old Hainan village here. And also along the way, we're going to find some interesting fruits and seeds of plants. And we're going to talk about yeah! it! Hey, what are you doing? I have something. I don't want to buy here something. Yeah. Don't you know how to take the plants and seeds around here, okay? It's illegal. This is the Melastoma malabathricum plant. It's very interesting because the fruits and seeds, they actually come out with this black dye and it's traditionally used in our pochai chai peels. You know the, the guy, the old man face in the peel, then you just the take it. The peel. Yeah. You know how to go? It's just all the map lah. Yeah. Apparently there's a lot of rambutan trees here but they are not in season so we can't really see them. So rambutan along with the longan and lychee, they belong to this family known as the soapberry family because you know they have like hard seed in the middle then there's a layer outside and then the fleshy fruit is right covering the whole thing. But it's dispersed by animals when they see a ripe one which is bright red in colour and will attract their attention. The bigger animals, they might eat it and the indigestible seed will be pooped out somewhere. So it's like really fertile and they'll probably grow really well and further away from the parent plant. So that's what seed dispersal is all about. So get away from your parents! This is the giant forest and and like its name suggests you can only find it like in the forest. Oh it's on your legs! Hey these are not fruits right? Nope! They are flowers! Then why are they all over the floor? Because for the fruit to develop, the flowers have to die and wither off first and then the remaining ovary in the middle will develop into a fruit. So yes, they will just draw draw. So means this tree is probably fruiting soon. Guys, there's a lot of mosquito here. This is the buffet for them. So if you ever come here, please remember to get like insect repellent or mosquito repellent. Oh, we're getting bitten alive. We're gonna die here. What are these? Uh? These are the red tree shrubs. So red tree shrubs because, you know, you look at the flowers, it's pretty bright red. But those are the fruits. Take a look at it. So this is the case for most of the fruits. So the dark blackish ones are the ripe ones, while the green ones are the unripe ones because the seeds are not ready. So the green ones, they camouflage with the plants around it and that will not like attract the birds and insects so they won't anyhow peck on it and open it. <laughs> ah! Ooh, that's sharp. The fruits of the mimosa, they are dispersed by animals. Not by eating, but they have hooks. Tiny little hooks that will hook onto the fur of animals and sometimes even your own clothes. So sometimes during sports day when you run like across a field or something like that, then you will find like a lot of weird seeds stuck. So some of them might be mimosa fruit. Oh my god, old school toilet. OOTD spot. Why would we OOTD in the toilet? Wait, everyone OOTDs in the toilet. Hey, wow, okay. How do you disperse? Wild orchids are actually dispersed through wind because their seeds are really light and really small so they can just be carried by the wind to somewhere further. But the ones we see in the flower shops and those orchid competition, right? They are reproduced asexually by human propagation, meaning they are actually clones of themselves. When you find a pretty orchid, you just want to make sure that the next one is also as pretty as the first one. So they'll just cloning, clone, clone themselves. So yes, that is human propagation. Yo MJ! Yes? See, I'm very sweet. All the bees are attracted to no, me. No, they want your salt. Animals need their salt content too, so they're slicking off the sweat of you, you sweaty person. I think I can roll myself into one like a sushi, you know, like you just roll me into one. Dude! What? Tell us about this. The bird nest fern is a fern which is a non-flowering plant. And how do they reproduce since they cannot have seeds? They reproduce by spores. So look at this tiny little thing, the powdery substance, they are spores. The same spore they find in your bread when you leave it out for too long and under the mushroom gills. So, the spores, they're tiny and then they will burst and then it's also fly away with the wind and then they will you know, end up somewhere and then they will just regrow into a new fern. Oh my god, that spot is really nice. Hashtag OOTD. Yes. <laughs> So bamboos, they are quite interesting. How do they actually spread their seeds? Uh, the ones that in the temperate countries, they actually do more of rhizome expansion, meaning their root expansion. So below the soil, right, they will actually expand and then they just grow another one. Then some countries, especially in the tropical ones, some of the species, they actually do seed dispersal. But it's actually not a very effective method because the seeds in the end just like crowd around the parent plant. That's why you see the bamboo, they're like one chunk together. This is the LL, Lalang! So Lalang, they are dispersed by wind. As you can see, the seeds are pretty fluffy. This one's probably going to disperse soon. So it's hair-like structure, so they will catch on to the wind and then they will float happily in the air and rest on somewhere else. 
Hey, are you tired? I'm okay. We are reaching the ruins soon. Let's go. Mm. This is the sea of the Angsana tree and it's dispersed by wind but unlike the rest that we saw previously where they have like this feather-like structure this one has a wing-like structure so it will catch on the wind and float with the wind Hey, this place is really full of OTD spot Oh, that one! <laughs> Remember the bright orange flowers we saw just now? It's the flower of African tulip plant and these are the seeds! Oh, look at it! It actually has a pot-like structure. So that actually indicates that the fruit splits open. So it is primarily dispersed by splitting. But then, one interesting thing, if you look closely at the seeds inside, you realize they have this thin little membrane, wing-like structure around it. So that actually shows that it is dispersed by wind. So is it dispersed by splitting or by wind? So the answer is both. They split first, and then once they split open, the seeds will catch on the wind and then they'll fly away to another area. The ruins! Is that our prize? Yes! I don't think so. I think there's one more further in. Okay, let's go. This is a seed pot of a rain tree. It's dispersed by splitting. <laughs> yeah. And there's a seed, can you see? Put the lime in the coconut. Drink from it! It's a coconut! I don't know why they are here because coconut is usually found near the streams. There's a stream nearby so it fell or something. So coconut, they're dispersed by water because you take a closer look at their husk, it's actually very fibrous, it traps a lot of air and it's pretty light. So you know they'll float in the ocean and then they'll reach like some other island. It's the ruins! Actually that's it. Oh, okay. So we just take a look around the architecture. It's a square shaped building. I don't know. No, to your left. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Let's go up. How oh, is it worth coming? Not bad, not bad. Not bad if you like to see like ruins and. Yeah, not bad, not bad. <laughs> the disturbing. We have found the ruins. We have found seeds that belong to the four main types of seed disposal. Wind, water, splitting and animals. So all in all, it was a fruitful adventure. Get it? Get it? Hey, Get it? Stop it. Fruitful? Up. Okay. So that's all for today. Just keep thinking.